My name is Crystal Dilworth. I'm a PhD candidate in molecular neuroscience at the California Institute of Technology. Today in the Thale Lab, we have Dr. Theodore Garland. Theodore is a professor of evolutionary physiology at the University of California, Riverside. And as a graduate student, he recorded the maximum speed of the world's fastest lizard. Evolution. Here we have the hartebeest, Alcelaphus bucelaphus. This African antelope has some of the most spectacular anti-predator adaptations of any animal on Earth. For example, you can see that its eyes are placed on either side of its head, which allows it an almost 360 degree view of the environment at all times. In addition, it's got these long, delicate legs that allow it to attain very high speeds and to maintain those speeds for some of the longest times known in nature. Here we have a human, Homo sapien hylorubitus. Humans are predatory omnivores and use their forward-facing binocular vision for better depth perception. His bipedal gait doesn't allow him to go at high speeds for long distances, but his large neocortex allows him to develop tools that could help him do so. Let's see what happens when these two animals meet. <laughs> The heart of beast is a highly territorial and solitary antelope. Seeing the human in this low profile, crouched, high speed stance, it probably mistook it for a rival male intruding on its territory. This is confusing to the heart of beast in the same way that a human on a surfboard looks somewhat like a seal or a sea lion to some species of sharks. It's interesting how the heart of beast reacts. Whoa! Holy cow! Its thick skull and horns provide considerable protection from this kind of a blow. Animal behaviorists have noticed that predator and prey animals show pain differently. This is because prey have no incentive in showing that they're hurt. Besides, they don't want to advertise that they're an easy lunch. Large predators like tigers make big displays of their pain, and social animals like humans call out for help. This makes the cyclist's response the preferred adaptive response. He's also developed tools like a helmet to help protect him against unforeseen circumstances. Over here, the heart of beast has done exactly what this species has evolved to do. Whoa! It's attacked what it thought was a rival male, it's recovered quickly, and then it's run away at high speed. Holy cow! All over the world, animal species are going extinct at an unprecedented rate. Indeed, the heart of beast has suffered the greatest decline in geographic range of any antelope. So would you consider this a fail? Quite to the contrary. From the perspective of natural selection, and perhaps for the heart of beast's current dilemma, this is a big win. It's a win for the human and his neocortex as well. <laughs> you think? Well, was this a win or a fail? Also send us clips of your animal videos for us to analyze in the fail lab and follow us on Facebook where the conversation continues. Many thanks to Dr. Garland. Thanks to you, Crystal. And thanks to all of you for stopping by. Be back next week with more science. But until then, when you're traveling through life and you get knocked to the ground, you've got zoocosis. <laughs>